There was some positive post-holiday news as public health officials spoke with New Hampshire long-term care providers today. While there was some increase in transmission of COVID-19, the number of cases and hospitalizations have plateaued. And so far, 70,000 doses of the vaccine have been administered, with the Pharmacy Partnership Program playing a big role in helping at nursing homes. We know the pharmacies have completed 126 clinics and long-term care facilities and have administered uh, just over 16,000 doses. Some of those are second doses that they're started to do. But health care experts also warned those who care for our most vulnerable residents that a new, more contagious strain of the coronavirus has already been detected in a dozen states. And it's not a question of if, but when it will come to New Hampshire. Just so we know, we should anticipate that it is coming to us and it certainly may have impact on our um, uh, outbreak curve you know, our epidemic curve, and that's why we're really um, trying so hard to get um, vaccines to arms. Dr. Talbot says despite the vaccine program, precautions are still needed. Continuing to encourage people not to travel internationally um, or even outside of New England, uh, given I've already described that there are 12 states reporting um, this more transmissible variant. Officials say it's important to get all the allotted vaccine delivered to people because future allotments may be determined by how much of your vaccine is actually distributed. Reporting live, Mandy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.